I've been meal prepping and I made some blackened salmon, some chili lime chicken, some oven chuck rolls, some fresh cucumber salad, some asparagus, some red skin mashed potatoes, and some roasted sweet potatoes. And I'm about to show y'all how I made all the things that I made. So the first thing I'm going to make is the chuck roast since it's going to take the longest to cook. Now this is the chuck roast. I put some Worcestershire sauce on here, some onion powder. I am also going to use a hefty amount of black pepper and I'm also going to put some complete seasoning on there. Now I would recommend if you decide to make this for you to allow it to marinate overnight okay. So then I'm going to go and sear it off in a big pan. Uh, I think this is the Dutch oven. I, I correct me if I'm wrong but I'm gonna sear it for about five minutes on each side just so it looks nice and pretty and it doesn't look so blah when it come out of the oven okay so once that's got a good crust on each side I'm going to remove that from the pan and in that same pan I'm gonna add some unsalted butter some sweet onion some mushroom and a whole lot of a fresh garlic because it ain't a recipe without a garlic y'all y'all should know that by now i'm gonna season that up with some black pepper some kosher salt um as well as a little bit of red pepper flake to give it just a bit of spice i'm gonna mix it up but i'm also going to add a little bit more of that Worcestershire sauce in there y'all and then I'm going to mix that up. And now to deglaze the pan, I'm going to add some white wine. Now I know for beef, normally you would use red wine. But I am one of those people that I like to use what I have in my kitchen. And it tasted just fine with the white wine in there. Once that's all uh, cooked up, I'm going to remove that. Add some broth in there. I use chicken broth. Uh, of course, you want to use beef broth. Let that come to a boil. Add that roast back in there. Then I'm going to add some fresh thyme and fresh rosemary. Then I'm going to add that onion and mushroom and fresh garlic back in there. Let that simmer for just a little bit. And y'all, that's what it's looking like. Ooh, let me tell y'all something. Like, I know y'all cannot smell this, but I am telling y'all, Lord, Yahweh have mercy. Now, I'm going to go and put that in the oven at 350 for about two hours now depending on how tender you want it you can cook it up to about four hours i didn't want my so shredded and next i'm going to make the red skin garlic uh garlic parmesan potatoes now y'all i am not going to show me making these only because i already have a video making these the exact same way if you are watching this from my YouTube channel, I'm going to go ahead and post the link up above and you can click it. Now I'm going to work on those roasted sweet potatoes. So I got my sweet potatoes. I am going to remove the skin from those sweet potatoes because for some reason on sweet potatoes, I don't like the skin. On any other potato, I'll eat the skin. But with sweet potatoes, I don't want the skin on there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those up into cubes as small as I can. Uh, about bite-sized cubes and then i'm going to add them into some cold water and let that sit for about 10 no longer than 15 minutes y'all and i'm just gonna add the put those red skin potatoes in there again i'm gonna post the video to those i don't want to show y'all how i made those again because i already got that video now for the roasted sweet potatoes i got a sheet tray Lay those out on a sheet tray. I'm going to season them with some olive oil, some black pepper, a little bit of kosher salt, as well as some brown sugar. And I guess I managed to not record this part, but I also seasoned these sweet potatoes, y'all, with some nutmeg, some allspice, and as well as some cinnamon. And then I'm going to throw those in the oven. I believe that took about no more than uh, 30 minutes to cook depending on how tender you want them now i'm gonna go ahead and make my chili lime chicken breast which is my absolute favorite way to eat chicken right now and this is my own recipe y'all 
so with my chicken breast they were pretty thick so i just sliced mine down the middle so i can get a total of six pieces instead of three i'm gonna throw those in a bowl i'm going to use a lot of fresh lime juice on there i'm gonna use some garlic paste you can use garlic powder i didn't have garlic powder so i used the paste a whole lot of chili powder on there a whole lot of cumin as well as some onion powder and I'm also going to season it with salt and I'm going to put a hefty amount of fresh cilantro on there. Can you believe that when I was about 10 years younger, I hated cilantro and now I be putting cilantro, not on everything, but when I do use cilantro, I use a lot of it. So I'm going to let that, uh, excuse me, I'm going to let that marinate for a little bit. Once it's marinated for at least 20 to 30 minutes, I am going to put that in a saute pan on medium high heat with some cooking oil. And I'm going to let that chicken breast cook for about two minutes on each side, y'all. You'll know that it's ready to flip when the chicken starts shrinking and, it, and the pan stops sizzling and bubbling so much and look at that nice crust on there i will say that garlic paste gave it a better crust than if you were to use onion powder but again it really tastes the same and that's how it's looking y'all oh my god this smells absolutely heavenly absolutely heavenly so now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and get to my salmon now for this salmon uh, this salmon is, um, it is fresh salmon. I'm going to cut my salmon up into about six pieces, y'all. Six even pieces. And then for the season, I'm going to use a little olive oil, some uh, black pepper. I'm go also going to use some onion powder on there, a hefty amount of that. And if you've been watching me from the beginning... Y'all know I swear by this Zatarain's Black and Seasoning. I love this Zatarain's Black and Seasoning, okay? And use a hefty amount of that on there. I'm going to let that salmon marinate for at least about 20 minutes, or you can let it marinate overnight. I'm going to cook it in a pan on medium-high heat. Now, I know y'all hear people say put the skin side down first. It really don't matter. I eat my skin. I don't take my skin off. I eat my skin. So it don't matter if I put the fleshy side down first or the skin side down first. Either way, it's going to look nice and crispy like this. Okay. Now we are going to make the asparagus. Now for the asparagus, normally I like to leave my asparagus whole, but the meal prep containers that I'm using, they are three compartments. So I had to cut the asparagus into about, um, I cut them into threes. And now that that's cut, I'm going to go ahead and get my garlic. Look how big that garlic is. This is a garlic lover's dream, y'all. If you like me and you love you some garlic, this was heaven. Because that was probably the biggest piece of garlic that I've ever held in my hand. I know it's garlic bigger than that. But I'm going to use about two to three of those. I'm going to mix them up real nice in the pan. I got me some cooking oil melted, some unsalted butter. It's always unsalted butter. Then I'm going to throw that asparagus in there. Now, depending on how big your pan is that you're using to cook these asparagus, I use two head of asparagus. I would not recommend you putting them all in there at the same time because then it would make it like kind of steam as opposed to saute. And for the seasonings, I'm going to keep it simple. Black pepper, kosher salt, and some fresh lemon juice. This is my absolute favorite way to make my asparagus. If I make my asparagus as a side, I almost always make it like this. The only time I really make it different is if I'm cooking it inside of something. And look at that, y'all. Oh, my God. This smells absolutely heavenly for butter, garlic, and some lemon juice. Who Lord have mercy. Now, I got one more thing to show y'all, and I promise I'm done. This is the fresh cucumber salad. So, again, fresh minced garlic because it ain't a recipe if it don't got garlic in it y'all come on now y'all should know that by now i used about two cloves of garlic i minced that up and i didn't feel like it was necessary for me to show y'all cutting me uh cutting up european cucumbers red onions plum tomatoes i put some black pepper in there some salt in there and some zesty robusto italian dressing this is the only salad dressing outside of homemade dressing that i like i'm gonna mix that up and i didn't show it but i also added some rice wine vinegar in there you guys now i'm gonna go ahead and plate these meal um meal plans up now i think i believe i believe i had a, a total of 12 plates so i got my sweet potatoes in there the cucumber salad 
the red skin parmesan mashed potatoes salmon chili lime chicken breast asparagus and that chuck roast and y'all let me tell y'all something everything that i made oh and of course i want to add a little bit more lemon juice i'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice on top of my salmon because i feel like salmon and lemon just go together like peanut butter and jelly like rice and beans like chocolate and peanut butter i always got to have lemon with my salmon and this was everything is looking like y'all i'm telling y'all everything is so good i know i did not i'm not gonna drop the exact uh, measurements only because this is meal prep and you can season it however you see it however you see please but that's it you guys if you want to see more meal prep videos leave a comment like share and subscribe